Today, we're gonna to show you how to apply some different vehicle accent packages. We've got rocker kit packages that go down at the bottom that look amazing. Fender flare kits, do all four of your fender flares. Give them a camouflage accent. We've got rear quarter panel graphics that go right behind your back tire and run all the way top and bottom of your bed. Look great. Four by four decals. We've got tailgate graphics, amazing wildlife imagery with camouflage all the way around them. Now one of the things we have to cover is the preparation of your vehicle. And this is key to the application process. So what you want to do is make sure you take some good soap and water and wash the vehicle. Get into all the nooks and crannies, wherever this product's going to go. Make sure that you've got the vehicle good and clean and then you're ready to use your wax and grease remover and take and strip all the wax off of that area. Now once you've got that done, make sure your vehicle's in an environment somewhere between 60 and 90, 95 degrees. And once your vehicle's at that temperature, you're ready to do the application process. Now this piece goes on the bottom of your truck. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to get two pieces to put on your truck, one for each side. Now this piece we've already cut to length. You've got a big piece that goes between your tires and there's a small section that'll go behind the back tire. And one of the things we found that works really well, use this technique, you take the top edge of that piece of material and put a strip of masking tape along that top. And what this does is this prevents the material from stretching so that the top edge is perfectly straight when you apply it to the side of your vehicle. And once you've got the masking tape on, then you can pull it loose and put it into position. And you can see it fits perfectly on the body line of that vehicle. What you're going to do is you're going to put masking tape and position it where you want it. Now find the center, somewhere close to the center, and use your hinge. And what you're going to do is put a couple, three pieces of masking tape right in the center. Get the masking tape at the front of the rear of the vehicle, doesn't matter which end you start with, and pull that piece loose, and you're going to bring that piece around and pull the backing off of it. And once that backing is pulled free, then you can come back and apply your piece onto the truck. Now that you've got your hinge in place and you've pulled the backing off, just cut the paper backing loose and you're ready to lay your vinyl down on the side of your truck. You'll bring your hinge piece back and position it onto your body line. Pull the backing off the other half, put some tension on the on the material across the very top and then lay that piece down along your body line and just use light pressure across that top to secure the vinyl. So as you come down the side of the truck you'll keep using pressure downward on the material working your squeegee down towards the bottom of the rocker. And Once again with the repositionable vinyl you'll find that you will run across a wrinkle or two just pull it back up reach your hand underneath there, pull it back loose, and then reapply it with your squeegee. When you get to the back of the cab, you'll want to cut the material on the bed side, not on the cab side, and that'll leave you extra material to wrap on in around the back of the cab of the vehicle. And one of the things you want to do is, once you get the product on, you just peel your masking tape off and go back over that edge with your squeegee with some firm pressure. The trimming we're going to do will be with a straight edge knife and you'll trim the bottom edge and the sides with your razor knife. And by laying that knife flat against that door, you don't have to worry about scratching your paint. Take your squeegee and just push that edge in. Once you've got your trimming done, your vehicle rocker kit is installed. Well, there you have it. There's the vehicle accent kit. What an awesome addition to any truck or SUV. After you're all through and the installation's complete, you want to go back with heat from your heat gun and firm pressure with your squeegee all over the graphics. And what this will do is this will help set the graphics and it'll create a new memory to ensure proper adhesion. After your project's complete, you want to keep the product in 60 degrees or warmer for as long as possible after the application. At least 12 hours is ideal before exposing it to either cold or wet climates. This will help strengthen the graphics bond to the surface. Make sure you review our tips and tricks video section to learn more about helpful installation techniques. Contact our customer service department at 888-449-6558 for further application support. 
Now that you've seen how Mossio graphics are applied and how easy it is, the application process, the maintenance free, you know, we just want you to go out and enjoy our products and we hope to see you out in the field. Thanks for watching.